I thought I was done. I thought I was done talking about this influencer. But you know what? Now that I've talked about her, of course, you know, when you talk about something, the algorithm, they start popping up on your screen. And I just saw like two videos and I'm just completely like, are y'all serious? It's very, very negative. I feel like we all go through situations that are negative or maybe negative or whatever the case might be. But to try to regurgitate that and convince one party or the other of this or that based on your negative perception of something is wrong. It's not fair. It's not fair to group all women into a category and say they're this or that. It's not fair to group all men into a category and say they're this or that. You have an experience and based on your experience, you feel some type of way and I completely understand that. However, to exude that hate and that negativity out into the world and say, well, this is how it is, or marriage is slavery, and all these different things, it's very, very negative. So what did I do? <laughs> I was like, you know what? Let's ask Chat GPT. Let me take one of these videos and let's ask Chat GPT. ChatGPT says it's clear that the speaker is expressing frustration potentially stemming from negative experiences or observations related to marriage. They may have witnessed or experienced situations where women are undervalued or taken advantage of in their roles within marriage. These experiences or perceptions might have led to feelings of anger, resentment, or disillusionment about marriage, which is reflected in their language and the points they make. 